Hi, this is Glenn. Welcome to Travel with Glenn. Join me as we travel to Jiracaster, Albania. This city, nestled in the southern hills, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's known as the City of Stone. Why stone? Look around. The buildings, the streets, even the roofs are made of stone. Jiracaster is more than just rocks, though. It's a place where history whispers from every corner. Ready to explore? We're about to step back in time and experience the unique charm of Jiracaster. From its imposing castle to its bustling bazaar, the city offers a glimpse into a world untouched by modernity. Imagine walking down streets paved with stories. In Jiracaster, you don't have to imagine. The city's history stretches back centuries, and it's etched into every stone. The Ottomans once ruled here, and their influence is evident in the architecture. The houses, grand and imposing, are built like small fortresses, a testament to the town's turbulent past. But Jirokaster's story goes beyond empires and conquests. It's a tapestry woven with threads of everyday life, of artisans practicing their crafts and merchants plying their trade. It's a city where Nobel Prize winning author Ismail Kadare found his muse, drawing inspiration from the tales whispered within the stone walls. Let's get into some facts about Jiracaster, where the past isn't just preserved, it's built into the very fabric of the city. The first thing you'll notice is the stone. It's everywhere. The houses, the streets, even the roofs are crafted from this enduring material. These aren't just any houses, though. They're known as tower houses, a unique style characteristic of Jiracaster. Imagine a small fortress rising several stories high with thick stone walls and tiny windows. But there's beauty in their strength. The roofs made of heavy stone slabs are a marvel of craftsmanship, each one slightly different, each one a testament to the skill of generations past. These houses are more than just buildings. They're symbols of resilience, of a people who adapted to their environment and created something unique and lasting. As you wander through the narrow streets of Girocaster, you'll notice the intricate details carved into the stone. Look closely at the window frames, the doorways, even the eaves of the roofs. You'll see delicate patterns, floral motifs, and geometric designs. These carvings are more than just decoration. They're a testament to the Ottoman influence that once permeated Girocaster. But the stone tells another story too. Look for the bullet holes, the scars etched into the walls of some buildings. They're a stark reminder of Jirokaster's turbulent past, of wars fought and battles won and lost. These marks are not something to be hidden away, though. They're part of the city's story, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, beauty and resilience can endure. Step inside one of these stone houses and you'll be transported back in time. The thick walls keep out the heat of the summer sun, creating a cool, serene atmosphere. The rooms are often arranged around a central courtyard, a private oasis where families gathered for generations. Imagine the stories these walls could tell, of laughter and tears, of celebrations and sorrows. The furniture is often simple but elegant, handcrafted from local wood. Carpets, woven with intricate patterns, adorn the floors. These houses are more than just structures. They're living museums, testaments to a way of life that is slowly disappearing. They're a reminder that home is more than just a place. It's a feeling, a connection to the past, a legacy passed down through generations. Dominating the Girocaster skyline is its castle a silent guardian keeping watch over the city below. Perched high on a strategic hilltop, this fortress has stood for centuries, witnessing the ebb and flow of history. As you climb the winding path towards the castle, 
Imagine the footsteps of soldiers, kings and prisoners who once walked these very stones. The castle has played many roles throughout its long life. A defensive stronghold, a royal residence, and even a prison during the communist era. Stepping through the castle gates is like stepping back in time. The air is thick with the weight of history, the silence broken only by the wind whistling through the battlements. From the ramparts, you can enjoy panoramic views of Girokaster, its stone houses cascading down the hillside like a river of gray. Today, the castle is home to the Girokaster National Museum, a treasure trove of artifacts that tell the story of this ancient city and its people. Within the castle walls, the Girokaster National Museum brings the city's past to life. Here, amongst ancient weapons and faded photographs, you'll encounter the stories of those who lived, fought, and shaped Girokaster's destiny. One room showcases traditional costumes. Their vibrant colors and intricate embroidery a testament to the region's rich cultural heritage. Another displays Ottoman-era weapons, from curved swords to heavy cannons, silent reminders of the battles fought and won within these walls. As you wander through the museum, take a moment to imagine the lives of the people who wore these clothes, who wielded these weapons. But the Girocaster National Museum doesn't shy away from the darker chapters of the city's past. It also tells the story of the communist regime, a time of oppression and hardship for many Albanians. Perhaps the most unexpected exhibit in the Girocaster National Museum is the United States Air Force C-47 Skytrain, a relic of the Cold War. This aircraft, shot down by the Albanian government in 1957, serves as a tangible reminder of a time when the world teetered on the brink of nuclear war. The plane's presence in the museum speaks volumes about Albania's isolation during the Cold War. Caught between the superpowers, this small Balkan nation found itself on the front lines of a global conflict. The story of the C-47 is just one of many fascinating tales waiting to be discovered within the walls of Girocaster Castle. As you leave the castle and make your way back down to the city, take a moment to reflect on the weight of history you've just experienced. Girocaster's stories are etched in every stone waiting patiently to be heard. As we descend from the heights of Girocaster Castle, let's journey back in time to the heart of the city's commercial and social life, the old bazaar. Imagine a labyrinth of narrow cobblestone streets lined with shops and stalls, their walls whispering tales of centuries past. This was the beating heart of Girocaster, a place where merchants from distant lands converged to trade their wares. The air buzzed with activity as artisans hammered metal, weavers spun colorful threads, and the aroma of exotic spices filled the air. Today, the old bazaar retains its charm, albeit at a slower pace. The spirit of commerce still thrives, but it's intertwined with a deep respect for tradition. Walk these ancient streets and you'll feel the weight of history beneath your feet, each stone a silent witness to the countless transactions and interactions that have shaped this vibrant marketplace. Step into the cool shadows of the bazaar's covered alleyways and you'll enter a world where time seems to stand still. Here, amidst the gentle hum of conversation and the rhythmic tapping of hammers, Skilled artisans continue to practice their crafts, their skills passed down through generations. Watch in awe as silversmiths transform molten metal into intricate filigree jewelry, their nimble fingers working with a precision honed over decades. Admire the vibrant colors and intricate patterns of hand-woven carpets and kilims, each one a unique work of art. The artisans of Girocaster are more than just craftspeople. They're the keepers of the city's artistic heritage. Their workshops, often tucked away in 
hidden corners of the bazaar are like portals to the past where ancient techniques and traditions are kept alive. The Jirokasta Bazaar is more than just a place to shop. It's a feast for the senses. The air is filled with the aroma of freshly baked bread, the tang of olives, and the sweet scent of lokum, a traditional Turkish delight. Listen closely, and you'll hear the rhythmic tapping of a cobbler's hammer, the gentle strumming of a musician's oud, and the melodic calls of vendors hawking their wares. It's a symphony of sounds, a vibrant tapestry of daily life woven into the very fabric of the bazaar. As you wander through the maze of alleyways, be sure to sample the local delicacies. Indulge in a slice of Bayrek, a savory pastry filled with cheese or spinach, or sip on a cup of strong Albanian coffee, its rich aroma filling your senses. The Jirakasta Bazaar is a place to savor, to linger, and to immerse yourself in the sights, sounds, and tastes of this ancient city. Jirokaster's stories aren't just etched in stone, they're woven into the very fabric of its people. And no one embodies this more than Ismail Kadare, Albania's most celebrated writer. Born and raised in the heart of the city of stone, Kadare's words have carried Jirokaster's spirit to readers around the world. Kadare's novels and poems are infused with the atmosphere of his hometown. The rugged mountains, the imposing tower houses, and the weight of history all find their way into his writing, creating a literary landscape that is both familiar and deeply evocative. His words have the power to transport readers to another time and place, to the cobblestone streets of Jirokaster, where ancient traditions mingle with modern life. Through his characters, we experience the joys and sorrows, the triumphs and struggles of the Albanian people, in Jirokaster, Kadare is more than just a famous son. He's a living legend. His presence felt in every corner of the city. Nestled on a quiet street in Jirokaster, you'll find a modest yet elegant house, its stone walls whispering tales of a literary giant. This is the childhood home of Ismail Kadare, now transformed into a museum dedicated to his life and work. Step inside, and you'll be transported back in time. The rooms are filled with personal belongings, photographs and manuscripts, offering a glimpse into the world that nurtured Kadare's love for language and storytelling. Imagine the young Kadare poring over books in these very rooms, his mind ablaze with stories waiting to be told. As you wander through the house, you'll notice how closely Kadare's writing reflects the atmosphere of his childhood home. The high ceilings, the wooden floors, the play of light and shadow, these elements all find their way into his prose, creating a sense of intimacy and familiarity for the reader. The museum is more than just a collection of artifacts. It's a testament to the power of place in shaping a writer's imagination. As we conclude our journey through Jirokaster, take a moment to let the silence of the stones wash over you. Feel the weight of history, the echoes of laughter and loss woven into the very fabric of this ancient city. Remember the tower houses, standing tall against the passage of time. Their stone roofs like shields protecting the memories held within. Jirokaster is a place where the past isn't just preserved, it's alive and breathing. It's in the rhythmic tapping of a cobbler's hammer in the bazaar, in the intricate patterns woven into a rug by a master craftsperson, in the words of Ismail Kadare, echoing the soul of his hometown. But Jirokaster isn't frozen in time. It's a living, breathing city where the spirit of its people shines as brightly as the sun glinting off its stone walls. Jirokaster is calling. Can you hear it? It's a whisper carried on the wind, an invitation to step back in time, to lose yourself in the labyrinthine streets and discover the stories hidden within the heart of the city of stone. Come, wander through the ancient castle, its walls echoing with tales of battles fought and won. 
Seek out the stories whispered in the stone carvings, the intricate details that speak of a rich artistic heritage. And as you stand before the childhood home of Ismail Kadare, let his words ignite your imagination and carry you to the heart of Girocaster's soul. Girocaster is waiting. Will you answer its call? Join us next time as we continue our exploration of the world's hidden gems, right here on Travel with Glenn. Travel far and wide, let's take flight. See the world's wonders day and night. From sandy beaches to mountain peaks, every adventure, a memory we keep. Join the journey, share the thrill, every video brings a new chill, from bustling.